Hey guys, welcome to the channel. Today we're gonna have a test to see how much range our little iMIF still has after five years. So uh, the GOM, the gasometer says 156 kilometers. That's pretty far. This car has an NEDC of 150 kilometers. So when they sold it, uh, they told us this can do 150 kilometers, but uh, that's too much. So the new uh, range calculation is WLTP and then this car is set to 110 kilometers. So uh, today it's 12 degrees Celsius, uh, it's uh, October and then we're just gonna see how long we can take it. So follow. All right, so how do we gonna optima optimize the range today? It's nice weather, it's dry outside, 12 degrees Celsius. The problem is I have my winter tires on already, uh, so that's gonna give more friction, so less range. But I'm gonna check my tire pressure because this car in the doors, it's always a sticker that tells you what's the best uh, pressure to have in your tires. This car gives indication to have two and a half bars or 36 PSI. And if you measure your pressure in your tires, you always do it when the tires are cold. So now I'm driving the coastlines that are pretty flat comparing to inland where the hills are much higher and lower. The trick here is when you drive an electric car is to drive like you drive uh, a truck. Down the hill you drive a bit faster and up the hill you go a bit slower just to keep your arrow in eco mode. So it's okay to drive 90 or 100 kilometers per hour if it's allowed as long the arrow is at economic you don't use so much energy so uh, i feel you use like in any car as well in uh, petrol cars how smoother you are with your gas pedal with your throttle how less energy you use and how more efficient you drive so uh, it doesn't help always to put your foot down and go fast and because there are cars in the front anyway you're gonna have to brake for i like to drive fast with this car not too fast but i like to to feel uh, to feel the car so i like to to drive uh, um, active but on the end, you doesn't uh, save time at all. But I think it's funny when I drive this little car and I see cars behind me that thinks, oh my God, this little car in front is so slow. I drive the same speed as they, they do. This car can do 130 kilometers per hour and that's not allowed anyway here. And as well on the red lights, you see the car behind me, uh, and I, I, I go quite fast from the red light up to uh, 60, 70 kilometers per hour. This car is, is quite fast, but I just like that it's like an automatic drive, uh, never lack of power. Yes, it has lack of power, but it's never, it never stops. It, it, never, it never makes a, a difference, you know, what car what the car can do at any time if it's cold or if it's warm or doesn't affect at all the engine it just affect the battery when it's cold the battery use more energy when it's cold the air is thinner 
uh, it gives you less drag um, if it's wet on the road you get more friction with the tires and so on so of course this climate now is uh, the perfect climate to do this test and uh, when it's raining or it's cold uh, you have to deduct uh, kilometers don't buy an EV where you should just manage to do your kilometers that uh, the car says you could do because suddenly you're gonna have a, a winter with some snow and a lot of uh, snow on the roads and that takes so much energy from the battery that you don't gonna make it but hey no it's not a problem with this little car because you have plenty fast chargers and I have a special uh, brick that I can use in any charging station and then they just send me the bill so uh, if I just need to uh, charge it a bit more it's never a problem as well like I hope like in Germany they uh, they said that every petrol station have to have a charging station for cars I hope it's coming as well to Norway but hey Norway maybe every in the cities every two three kilometers you have charging stations so it's not uh, it's not a problem so now my gasometer says uh, still 92 kilometers and I did let's see trip A I did 35 kilometers so it's uh, I hope I'm if I do between the 100 and 110 kilometers today I'm pretty happy so let's see how it goes Now we are halfway and uh, the battery energy says half, my gasometer says I have 69 kilometers, I'm pretty far um, and I did uh, 60 kilometers, so uh, I did 60 kilometers and my gasometer says 69 kilometers and I'm turning around so I really hope I'm gonna make it. All right, I just stopped now at the shop. Uh, it's three kilometers from my home. Everything is blinking here. Nine kilometers left. And I did 106 kilometers. And... Um, I have one, the last bar is now blinking and I don't remember if it was on this car or on the Nissan Leaf that I had uh, that small sign the turtle coming I think it was on the Leaf but I think I wrote as well that it was on the iMeaf that if you really are out of juice there is a small turtle coming I put the gears in B for a while so well I did over 100 kilometers and 40 of those kilometers were on the highway and there I was driving 90 uh, the other kilometers uh, it was a lot of 70 and 80 for most of the part so that's pretty impressive because then it's uh, then I drove quite on high speed to to be this little car. If I uh, drove on roads in a way that uh, maybe are uh, in town like 50 and some roads 60, 70, I probably could get more out of the range. But it's important that I use the car like I would use it. Uh, every day and not only driving carefully but I feel as well I thought that I was driving much more uh, efficient on the way home 
because I turned when it was uh, when the battery level says 50% because I was driving behind a person with an L on the car so it was learning to drive so I was thinking okay that's very efficient to stay behind a person like that but it looks like I use the same because in the beginning when I was driving I was changing the camera and stopping and and it, that's not very efficient but I use the same power the same uh, energy both ways so now everything is uh, making signs no battery the last bar is uh, blinking but I, I think that I remember that when the last bar goes then it's seven kilometers left I remember I was driving this car once and I came home and I plugged it in I, I, I had only two kilometers left on the counter on the gasometer now it says seven kilometers left the I think I'm not gonna try to push it too far and uh, having calling my wife she's probably working in the garden and say please can you get me because I had to do this test and uh, I failed so I'm not gonna push it uh, totally I'm, I'm happy with the result I have seven kilometers left on the counter and I did 109 kilometers on roads with uh, with a decent speed so I'm happy so did I lose range when it was new not really not really I think that uh, when it was new I was calculating uh, just over 100 kilometers and um, it still does it even on high speeds but like I said if I was driving uh, if I'm driving even more nerdy if I can say it like that I think I could push 120 125 kilometers out of this i know a lot of people did much more so it's not a competition i just wanted to see if this little car just give me still the range that it deserved and it does after five years and sixty thousand kilometers all right guys i'm home now still seven kilometers left so let's see 110 kilometers now and I think I have 8 kilometers left so yeah I could do 120 so please follow the channel it's gonna be more videos and uh, we just bought a Renault Zoe that does 300 kilometers WLTP 400 kilometers NADC range so that's a car that we use if we need to go further. Talk to you next time. Bye-bye.